Hi, welcome back to the Metaphysical Corner. Today, I want to talk to you about evaluating your relationship with money. Is it a friend or is it an enemy? You set the parameters of the relationship that you have with money. Do you hang out with money? You know, years ago, people used to keep it in their sock drawer and they used to keep it in their mattress. So it's like they went to bed with the money. Every time they went to bed, they'd go to bed with their money because the money was in the mattress. Now, I don't recommend that today, you know, hanging, hanging out with it in the mattress or in the sock drawer. Some people even kept it in a coffee can or in the um, cabinet, in the freezer or in the cabinet. Do you hang out with money? You know, when you get your money, do you hang out with it? Do you act like it's a friend? You know, treat it like a close friend or a close relative. Do you keep it around for any length of time? Do you talk with it? That's something that you want to do. That's in developing the relationship as a friend. Friends do things for friends. But there is always a give and take in the friendship. Or do you get rid of it as soon as you get it? You live paycheck to paycheck. Some people say, I'm on a fixed income. Everyone is really on a fixed income because they get a set amount of money. But it's how you treat that money. Is it slated to go out for bills before you even get it? Do you tolerate money? You know, you just tolerate it, sort of like an enemy. You just associate with it when it can do something for you. It's very important that you want to uh, really evaluate your relationship that you have with money, even to how you feel about money. Uh, years ago, people would teach that the love of money, um, that money is the root of all evil, but it's actually the love of money, how you. Um, treat money as compared to how you treat other people, an attitude, a mindset. You can love money as a friend, but not let it take hold of your entire being. Just, you know, a healthy relationship with it. But you want to have some type of relationship with it that it doesn't seem like it's an enemy. Um, do you plant the money? not in the ground because that would deteriorate the money, but do you plant it so that you can watch it grow? Do you place it in a safe um, rather than, you know, for safekeeping? Do you place it in a bank? Do you put it in a money box? Or do you invest it? You don't have to invest or save everything that you get, but you want to save some of it so that it feels like you don't mind keeping it around. Do you have enough of these little single bills? Because what most, most of the time people spend most of the money, the majority of the money that they receive, they spend it and they only have a few dollars that they have in their pocket or their wallet or they keep around. Do you have enough of these small bills like ones maybe fives to make up a 20. Look in your pockets now, look in your wallet now and see what do you have in there? Are you nurturing the relationship with large bills or small bills? And you can tell by the types of denominations that you have in your possession, be it in your pocket or wallet or purse or in a safe, in a money box somewhere. Uh, even in the bank, do you have large bills or do you only keep small bills on your person? Is that all that you have? Some people may say, right, that's all I keep on me. Okay, that's fine. But you can also keep larger bills on your person and not in the relationship with them. So also not... Uh, treat them like strangers passing in the night. How do you treat your money? Is it a friend? Some, 
someone that you're comfortable being around, someone that you don't mind hanging out with being around you. And I'm showing the bills, but it's the same as with the checkbook, because when you grab your checkbook, you are able to do the same thing with a checkbook as you would with money. Some people still use checks, yes, even if you do a bank check, but treat your money as a friend. Develop a type of relationship with the money. Don't mind touching the money, handling the money. When you do that, you're putting your vibrations on the money, and it's like psychometry, so you're putting your vibrations on the money. The money hangs out with you. It may like hanging out with you. It'll come back because it missed the relationship it had with you. All right. How are you treating your money? Like a friend or like an enemy? If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and the subscribe button to show a little channel love.